Are you Batman? I am not. Oh, he's just there. Oh, he's gone again. Batman! Hi, Paul. Hi, how are you? I'm Greg, and you? Uh, it's all awesome. We're here at GamesCon. You know, we're showing Batman Arkham City, and we're very excited at the reaction we're getting. We too. We uh, tested it. Yeah. We uh, find it to be awesome to this point. Uh, <laughs> let me ask a question first. How do you like Germany? Um, to be honest, we got off a plane. We came here. We, we came to the show floor. We've then come. It's a very, it's a crazy place. So you know. Everything we've seen so far is nice, but we've not really been, you know, exploring very much. Okay, so we have seen the best part of Germany so far, yeah. the Gamescom. Yeah, it, it seems that way. <laughs> okay, great. Um, let me ask a question. Um, I'm interested in uh, how Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight influenced the further appearances of any Jokers to see in Batman comics, Batman games ever. Well, I mean, we're nothing at all to do with the Dark Knight stuff. I mean, one of the great things about working with DC and working with Warner Brothers on the Arkham uh, Asylum and Arkham City games, which we call the Arkhamverse, is we get to pick the best parts of like 70 years of Batman's history. But we're, you know, we're very much the comic book license. So, you know, we, you know, obviously our Joker's Mark Hamill. We like to think that's one of the, you know, the best Jokers ever. Um, we, you know, we, yeah, I mean. We feel very privileged to be doing what we're doing and to be able to take these like iconic characters and you know take them in the directions that we want to take them. Okay, great. Do you have a personal obsession with Batman? Who doesn't? I mean, you know, Batman's like one of the world's greatest heroes. You know, we, you know, it's like one of the coolest things to work on. The fact that we're able to work on it and that people back us to make these games is just, you know, we're we're very lucky and we know that and that's why we try at Rocksteady incredibly hard to make games that justify having that character in it. Okay, I think we can see the, the heart, the, the soul put in it. Uh, we can see it in the result in the end. Uh, when is the release? Uh, the release is October 21st in Europe. It's on uh, Batman Arkham City. It's on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 and PC. Uh, what are the main differences to the first or the, the recent, the last Batman game? Uh, well, the main difference between Batman Arkham Asylum and Batman Arkham City is that we took everything that was awesome about Batman Arkham Asylum and then we moved it into a city. And that's where Batman really should be. Batman should be on the rooftops. Batman should be taking down thugs in the streets. And we wanted to give that sense of freedom that you get, that only Batman has, when, when he can just leap off a building, take down some guy you know, who, who he, he knows shouldn't be doing what he's doing, to be able to be really take back the night from the, th from the bad guys. Is it harder for him to catch all the thieves spread over the town? Well, the great thing about for Arkham City is that, you know, we've created this fiction where we have this... It, it is a city, but it's a walled city because it's, it's this big super prison. So Professor Hugo Strange decided the best way to treat all the criminals in Gotham City, which is pretty much the worst place in the world, I think, and they've, they've built a wall around it and just thrown all the bad guys in. So Batman's kind of... is in there as well. And so all the bad guys there, all the main villains, you know, it's this kind of... It's just a den of evil, and that's what Batman has to stop. Um, all this, all those villains, um, they try to, to, to beat Batman like hell, millions of times. Why don't they focus on leaving? Yeah. Well, they can't leave Arkham City. No one can leave Arkham City. That's the great thing about having a prison. But, you know, obviously the bad guys all have a plan in this game. But the great thing about putting, you know, Two-Face and Penguin, the Riddler... You know, all these iconic characters in this prison is that they all have they all have their own agenda you know someone nobody they don't really get on that well they don't you know they want to own parts of the streets um, Riddler wants his revenge on Batman for what Batman did to him at the end of Batman Arkham Asylum um, you know that there are there are plans afoot by all the main bad guys in the game as to how they want to deal with Batman is there already a comic released on the game or is the game based on a comic well the game is based on the Batman comic brand if you like you know we like I say we take the best of every part of Batman and that, that was our goal on Batman Arkham Asylum and then obviously our universe has expanded we you know we, we now affectionately call it the Arkhamverse you know there are there is a prequel comic that's come out so there was a five-part print um, 
comic book and then there were some digital comics. I mean, it's just awesome for us to see the stuff that, you know, we've been fans of for so many years now coming out as part of our, our kind of world. I mean, it's awesome. Does Bruce Wayne or Batman know or even approve all the games you make about him? Batman knows everything. If he didn't know we were doing it, I guess we'd be in trouble. That's true. Thanks for the interview. Thank you.